Hi, Logan here from VacPin.com, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Eureka Airspeed 1. Now, I've gotten a ton of requests for this machine. Uh, lots of people are really interested in it, and uh, I can see why. It's $70, it, um, it claims to have some great value for the money, and it's in Eureka's Airspeed line, which has previously been pretty popular. So, I went out and picked up the Eureka Airspeed 1 Reach Edition. So, this is the Reach Edition of the vacuum which means it comes with a 40-foot um, hose and telescoping wand system. So with that, why don't we uh, bring out the trusty unboxing knife here and cut into the package, shall we? So I'm just going to slice open the top here. Flip to the other side, slice open the top. As you can see by the little bullseye, I picked this thing up at Target. And... Let's give it a try. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure um, what I'm going to get in a $70 vacuum, so I'm keeping an open mind. And uh, let's put the knife off to the side as we start to pull things out of the box. I have to say this box is actually very, very small. As you can see, I'm going to stand up. And uh, comes right above my knee. So my knee's here, the box is here. So. Um, Interesting how small they got the machine, and if you look inside the box, it's all tightly compacted. So, without further ado, first wand, crevice tool, another wand, second wand, dusting brush, handle with some metal, and it's scuffed up out of the box already. Normally it takes a little bit of work to actually do that. Turbo brush with their uh, riser visor system, which is, it's actually pretty cool. So let's say you are on a floor like this. You can go back and forth. But what's, let's say you want to do stairs, which you know are vertical. Normally you'd have to go like this or like this and it's awkward. So you flip this down and now you can go vertical and then right back to horizontal. So. Cool little, uh, cool, cool little turbo brush, and they include that right in the box. And let's see what's next. Manuals, two-year warranty, how to vacuum, uh, how to assemble. Gotta throw all this stuff off to the side, never to be read again. The uh, base, it looks like the back of the unit here. More cardboard. The bin, which we will take out of its plastic package and show off here after I throw the plastic over with the other packing materials. Here we go, here's the bin. They say multi cyclonic, uh, multi cyclonic, as a lot of you say. Um, and as you could see, it is a two cyclone system, so the inner cyclone and outer cyclone which come together. There's a nice, actually, a, nope, that's, no. Is it? I thought that was a rubber seal actually inside there, but that's not, just uh, hard plastic. Looks like rubber though. I would have been very impressed if they did a, that big of a rubber seal, but uh, no. And a very uh, thick foam filter at the top. Now let's uh, pull the base out of the box. and put it together. So, before I do that, let's give you a quick shot of all that comes in the box, minus the packing materials, of course. And here you go. So let's take a second and uh, let's uh, go through them as we put them together, shall we? So I'm gonna try to do this without instructions. Normally I can do this, but uh, let's hope that this is the same as all the other vacuums. Um, I should note, though, that these pieces here don't have seals on them, which worries me a little bit, um, as they just click together with no seal, so it's not a sealed system. So for those of you with allergies, um, does this even have a HEPA filter? No, that's a handle. Um, yeah, so filtration looks to be very poor on this machine. 
Maybe I'm missing something. We'll uh, take a look in the full review. But um, if you have allergies, this machine's definitely not for you. I can tell you that already. I hope it's not another shark rocket where I can barely finish the review before I break into a sneezing fit. But um, I will try for the good of my viewers. Now, as you can see, I put the bin on, put the handle on, and all this stuff is fitting into place very, very loosely, and it just clicks in. Um, it has me a little bit worried about the, longev the longev longevity of this machine. Um, and as you can see, we are all good there. I am going to adjust the camera quickly, make sure that we are all good. As I try to get this all together. So, as we can see on the back here, there we go. Let's see, does this fit in? Nope, that doesn't fit in. Um, oh, that's because it doesn't go there. This, I do you believe, yep, crevice tool fits right into one of your wands. The, um, Turbo brush here fits onto the front, and it will be probably by the review video if I uh, figure out where these go because it doesn't look like they have a place on the vacuum. And uh, a quick glance at the box tells me that I'm correct and that they don't have a place on the vacuum. But I could be wrong, so. We will take a look. Once again, this is just a quick uh, unboxing and first look. So because of that, I'm not actually going to wind up the cord. I'm just going to push the tubes off to the side, take the plug, go plug it in, and uh, let's take a look, shall we? I'm going to adjust the camera one last time, and here we go. I am going to uh, just try it out, take off our last little bit of pa packaging here, and see how well exactly a $70 vacuum um, can clean your carpets. So first impressions, just from handling it, it feels very, very plasticky and uh, very concerned about its durability. But um, it also feels very, very lightweight. Um, here we go, I'll show you. I'm picking it up with just two fingers here. It's really, really light. As you can see it, uh, bounces easily. So let's give it a try and let's see if it, uh, if it picks up or if it's just a uh, true lightweight that doesn't do much. <laughs> sound of it, but let's get that adjusted to the carpet. It does not have an automatic brush height adjuster. But um, from that little bit right there you saw, it actually picked up a pretty respectable amount of dirt um, just in the little bit of uh, back and forth we did right there. And uh, that actually is a little bit surprising. I did not expect it to be uh, this good at all. Um, of course, definitely there are a lot of caveats to this machine which uh, we will go into in the review, or I will go into, and one of which, as you can see right now from my struggling, is how hard it is to get this bin back in, actually. Uh, it does not want to go back in at all. There we go. It takes a lot of force. Another thing I noticed very quickly is that it gets very dirty right up in here. So, something to uh, look into. Anyways, this has been a quick unboxing, first look, review. Uh, not a review, just a quick first look. I'm Logan, I'll be testing this thing on the VacBin test track and in real world uh, trials, and I'll let you know how it does. So, this has been Logan for VacBin.com. Thanks for watching.